What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to take you guys for a ride. And I want to talk to you guys about that new Tesla pickup truck. What do you guys think about that truck? Let me know in the comment section below. Woo! Let's go, baby. As you guys can see, I'm on this Ducati X Yavo. Just out here having a little fun. Trying to get a video out to you guys. So yeah, guys, about this Tesla truck. I was looking forward to this truck so bad, okay? I wanted a truck, I need a truck. And I'm like, you know what? I heard Tesla is gonna put out a truck. So I'ma hold back and I'ma wait to see what the Tesla truck looks like. So I marked that day on my calendar and I was ready. I was ready for that new Tesla truck. And well, what a surprise, right? They put out that truck and as soon as it drove onto the stage, I was in disbelief. I was kind of disappointed. I was kind of hurt. I was hoping for something much, much better looking. And I think everyone else felt the same way. But as time went on, as time went on, day after day after the Tesla revealing, I think I started to grow and like this Tesla truck a lot better. biker over here Ooh, a female too. hello all right guys so uh as days go on i start to like this truck a lot better I'm, I'm watching all these youtube videos about this truck and trying to learn as much about the truck trying to get myself to like this truck and you know eventually at this point you know i, I kind of like this truck i'm still up in the air if i want to pre-order this truck but you know, I'm starting to like it a little more because it's different. Woo! Man, when I torque that throttle. Woo! You can hear that Ducati scream. Yeah, so anyways, guys, let's talk a little about what the truck has to offer, right? They have three models of this truck. The first model being starting off at $40,000. That's cheap for a truck, especially electric vehicle Tesla truck. It's cheap. There's no denying that. So what can this $40,000 truck do? Well, zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds or lower. It has a towing capacity of 7,500 pounds, which is pretty good for a truck, right? That's the first model. Second model, zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. Towing capacity of 10,000 pounds. And this model is an all wheel drive. The first model is only a rear wheel drive, but this model is all wheel drive. And the second model, the all wheel drive is gonna cost you Fifty thousand dollars. Which if you ask me, it's still very cheap for the truck or it's very competitive to all these other trucks on the market. Fifty grand. So you got your first model, you got second model. Now the third model is the tri motor. And this model goes zero to sixty in 2.9 seconds are you crazy that is ridiculously fast this is a model i want but i can't afford seventy thousand dollars i can't invest that in a tesla pickup truck especially the first model but anyways guys this tri motor has a towing capacity of fourteen thousand pounds 
0 to 62.9 and all wheel drive tri motor and $70,000. Last night, guys, here in Sacramento, it was pouring rain, it was super windy, the weather was just awful. Today is a little bit better, the day before Thanksgiving. You got the sun peeking out a little bit, a little bit cloudy. I think it's supposed to rain tonight, so that's why I wanted to hurry up and get this video, go for a ride and make this video for you guys. So anyways guys, back to the Tesla truck. All three models have a, a capacity of 3,500 pounds. Woo! That's the Cotty baby! Man, I wish I had the aftermarket exhaust. Ugh. That's the only thing I want for this bike is the aftermarket exhaust. Got to get up, baby. Woo! Oh yeah, baby, I have so much fun on this bike. This is my baby. Love this Ducati. Look at that airplane taking off from the Sacramento International Airport. All right, guys. So uh, all three models have a payload capacity of 3,500 pounds. Oh man, that truck broke down. Don't tell me that's a, a lady driver. Hello. Ooh, okay, don't worry about me, girl. Maybe she needs some help. So I'm pretty sure you guys saw the broken glass. That's right, the broken glass, guys. The armored glass shattered. They threw a big old metal ball at the window and it cracked. Both windows on the driver's side cracked. They tried it twice and it didn't work. The armor, the Tesla armor glass wasn't as strong as it was said to be. But I believe they will fix that by time that truck is released. What else do they do on stage? Oh yeah, they hit they hit the Tesla truck with a sledgehammer. So they did this comparison with a regular truck door. For example, it was probably an F-150 door. They hit it with a sledgehammer and then boom, you know, it left a big old dent. They went over to the stainless steel Tesla truck and they hit that with the, the sledgehammer and it didn't even nick it. So this Tesla truck has a, a monochrome exoskeleton. So basically, a traditional truck has a frame at the bottom, right? Well, the exoskeleton stainless steel is the frame. The whole body is the frame. That's kind of hard to make sense, but you just have to see it to get it. The frame is the body itself. All they put on the Tesla truck appears to be just the doors, in the, in the glass so it has an ex exoskeleton frame which is supposed to be really durable so let's talk about the bed size so the bed size I don't remember on top of my head the exact size of the bed but it's supposed to be compared to the size of any other large or full size uh, truck out there today and this truck has they call their bed a bolt so you're capable of locking it. It has this cover that slides down electronically. Slides open and slides down. So you can gain access to your truck bed. Which I think is freaking cool. You know, you have some important stuff back there you don't want to get stolen. You just hit the button, it slides down, it locks. It's considered a bolt. It's a storage container, right? So it's supposed to be strong enough for you to be able to stand on that cover. And also, I guess they're putting out a cover that's solar power. I guess it's going to be an option for you to buy. So yeah, this, this solar power bed cover or bolt cover is going to be an option you can add to your 
back in your cyber truck and i think if i ever got the truck i would want that 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 solar power to, to be charging my truck when i leave it out in the sun i think that's awesome i don't think it charges it that much i think they said anywhere from like 15 miles per day all the way up to like 30 miles per day something along those lines but yeah i think that's pretty cool if you ask me so what else about this truck oh yeah it has a cyber quad it's a freaking quad guys electric tesla quad which i think is freaking awesome if i do get this truck you better believe i'm getting that cyber quad so the the cyber truck has a built-in ramp so in, in the in the tailgate for the the bolt or the bed whatever you want to call it so you open it up and the truck has air suspension so the back end will lower down and you can slide that metal tray down out of the tailgate and you can drive your atv up or motorcycle or whatever you whatever you have you want to drive up you can do it okay so like landscapers it'll be easier for them to roll up their lawnmower because this metal ramp you could just roll it right up so a lot of people are going to like that and you just tuck it back into the tailgate you just slide it back into the tailgate and it's gone so i think that's pretty awesome Woo! let's go baby so what else about this cyber truck that's a pretty cool name i guess cyber truck cyber truck and cyber squad heck yeah sounds good to me oh guys it's supposed to be coming out and not just stainless steel color but matte black look at that guy splitting legs so anyways guys yeah this truck is supposed to not only come out in stainless steel but matte black and you better believe i'm gonna get that matte black because you know I'm, i like that matte black as you can see on the ducati x diablo i got that matte black so oh man pair that up with my ducati and my cyber truck i'm one bad mother yeah I'm just cruising around guys enjoying this little bit of sun i guess the rest of the week it's going to be raining it's going to be ugly here in sacramento so i'm just out here having a little bit of fun testing out my new gopro 8 i got this uh this clamp here from amazon make sure that's secured got the gopro 8 on my helmet in case you guys are wondering what kind of cameras i got all right guys so uh i think that's pretty much it for this video let me know if you guys are going to get this vehicle this cyber truck if you guys like it just just let me know let me know you what you guys think in the comment section below let's talk about this truck a little bit guys all right guys thanks for watching the video i hope you guys have a wonderful thanksgiving deuces my limits, I'm in it to win it. Forget the beginning, it's now that you're living. Don't be forgiven, don't fear what you're missing. I'm not like a killer, you need to be driven. Ten steps ahead, you